Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, we're just coming to your blog post. We want to share with you, of course, the latest in social media and technology. Uh, please give us a like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube so you can subscribe to all the latest, coolest, and greatest videos of tech and gadgets that we take and review. Now, uh, courtesy of borrowlenses.com, we're reviewing the Nikon D5200 today. Borrowlenses.com, you can go there, you can order uh, a plethora of different cameras, lenses, uh, photograph kits, everything you can ever think of. You can order it and then send it back. Why uh, Why buy? You can try before you buy, you can rent for an event, experience pro equipment, all that good stuff. Uh, give some love to borrowlenses.com. Thanks to them for uh, providing the Nikon D5200 you see here that we're going to take and review. So, let's get into this uh, unit okay so let's talk about some of the aspects of the uh, Nikon D5200 I've been using it for about a week thanks to borrow lenses let's talk about what it is what it does now it's got a uh, three inch diagonal monitor size screen on the back that flips out which is really cool 90 921 thousand dots and the flip out will come out to a 170 degree wide viewing angle that's always important to take and have the overview of this is it's a uh, DX format camera according to Nikon's uh, system it's just a 24.1 megapixel camera five frames per second continuous shooting 100 to 6400 ISO which is expandable to 25 25,600. It's got full HD video recording, 1080p at 30, 25, and 24 frames per second. That's always good to take and have. The image type, uh, image sensor type, is a CMOS. So uh, technically it shows total pixels at 24.71 million, with the sensor uh, effective pixels come in at 24.1. So uh, you can take a look at it from that aspect. It does, uh, of course, take the latest micro SD cards for recording, micro SDXC, or up to, I should say, and including all the other ones that go down below it and all that good stuff. So the uh, viewfinder frame coverage is 95% horizontal, 95% vertical. It's always important to take a no. And um, what else do we need to take it? It's compliant with all of your uh, Nikon lenses. Um, and your shutter speed is one four thousandths uh, to 30 seconds in steps of one third or one half EV. Okay, so let's take a look at what's uh, on the front here. We've got your infrared receiver, and of course, we've got your AF focus light that uh, helps do some things. We've got, of course, the front of the body here. You've got your, foc your flash button and your FN button, and of course, the release for the lens across the front. Coming around the left side, you can see we have an area here on the upper left for the external microphone. We have an area for the audio-visual um, USB, micro-USB output. Then we also have the HDMI plug that you can see on the far right bottom. And then we also have the accessory plug on the bottom left. Okay, so moving around the back, we're going to take a look at a few different items here. We have the menu button, and then we have, the, of course, the viewfinder. We have the dioptic adjuster. One thing I like is the hot shoe at the top has a special plastic protector that goes in to keep it protected from damage and wear, things of that nature. Also, we have the fold-out uh, screen, which is really nice to take and have. You can shoot from the high ups or lows uh, and you can adjust it and of course you can fold it forward to uh, do selfie stuff uh, if you want to take and see what you're shooting or have someone see what you're shooting uh, I like how it folds in and protects the screen so you don't have to worry about scratch and wear that's always very important so uh, I really enjoy having it at first I thought it was cheesy you have the information button the AE button menu uh, scroll the play button and your uh, kind of mouse scroll OK trash and you have your uh, zoom in, zoom out, adjustments, looking at screens. Up top you have the speaker, the microphone in the middle, the pop-up flash, the rotating dial, the live view switch for switching on the uh, back screen. You have your multi-shot, your info button, your uh, exposure button, uh, and your right balance, I should say, your uh, recording button, and of course the on-off switch, and your shutter button. Flipping over the back, you can see here that uh, the, the camera will give you data based upon the setup of your camera and what you're shooting you can easily sit and look at all the scientific information that you could possibly want as you turn the dial it's gonna let you know where you're at so it offers a great way to really understand what's going on with your camera how you've got it set up and everything else um, really makes a huge difference in the quality of your experience 
Also from the screen, you can take and playback video, you can take and review photos, zoom in, zoom out, all that sort of good stuff, trash photos that you may not have wanted to kept. Um, so it works as a great sort of editing device. Okay, so let's take a look at the back screen, the menu screen, if you will, that you can take and utilize. Basically, you control the whole camera through the menu. You can see all the different things that are in here. And, of course, using the wheel on the right side, you can page through all the different things that are in the menu. You can set up, of course, what sort of things you're shooting at, uh, everything else. Everything is completely controllable and set up through um, the camera menu on the back. So it's very easy uh, to be able to do your adjustments, to be able to set up the camera the way you want. Very cool, very easy to use, makes it work. The nice thing about the back screen is, of course, you can use it instead of looking through the viewfinder just by flipping the uh, live viewfinder uh, switch at the top. You can, of course, uh, switch between uh, the information screen or you can have this. It is pretty cool where it does give you some audio readouts of your left and right channels, as you can see there, and uh, it gives you most of the details that are happening in your shot as you're trying to take and set it up. So it works out really, really good where you can take and frame your shot, see what you're focusing on and everything else, and decide uh, you know how to take it. So all in all, we really like the Nikon camera D5200. It definitely is a, is a competent camera and does a great job. It's got great megapixels to it. And uh, if you like the Nikon uh, cameras, it's definitely one at the price point to use. You go to borrowlenses.com, our friends at borrowlenses.com. Thanks to them for loaning us the Nikon 5200 so that we could take and review it. Uh, what a great company. I mean, it's so easy. You can try uh, cameras like the one we're trying now before you buy one. You can rent it for an event, experience pro equipment. You can borrow a specialty item, all that sort of good stuff, save on travel expenses. We love it because we can test all sorts of gear out before we have to spend money on it so that's pretty awesome go check them out chris voss tested chris voss approved be sure to check in the chris voss show.com often check in the nikon.com thanks for coming by